hello in this video i just want to show you the steps you should carry when you're doing retouching of your images in photoshop so i've been getting so many questions about what is the best time to do something in photoshop and this is a tutorial and it's just going to be a short video and you're not going to be doing any retouching just want to show you just a brief workflow of my work and how i do the steps when i'm trying to retouch or color correct an image or maybe doing some dodging and burning so the first thing i tend to do is you can see in my background i first of all color grade the image so that is the first initial color grading process i undergo when i'm trying to do skin retouching or any retouching process so i first of all process the raw file so if at all i'm in camera raw, i first of all process and first of all get the colors the way i want them to be that is the very first step for color grading or when i'm in capture one i tend first of all do the very first step of color grading. I only, I don't do color grading maybe in camera raw alone. I tend to go from capture one, then I switch to camera raw, and also I just do it back and forth. So after doing all that, the next thing I tend to do is coming and do a skin retouching, and in that case, I do frequency separation. You can see before, after. So after doing frequency separation, I just come to and do a little bit of dodging and burning and that dodge and burning is oftentimes the global dodging and burning that is to enhance the shape or dimension for the model's face remember after you have done frequency separation we tend to flatten all those out on the original highlights and the shadows in the images so i tend to do dodging and burning after frequency separation so i'm just going to just do something a little bit and if at all you're interested in my actions pack or retouching essentials pack the link is going to be in the description of this very video and just come right here and i'm going to play my dodge and burn global action and that is going to play so what i'm going to do i just get a white brush so soft round white brush with an opacity of 10 percent so i'm just going to leave it at 10 so dodging and burning is just more of enhance in the highlights and shadows so i get my black mask selected and come to these two boxes and i make sure white is on top so i'm just going to be enhancing the highlights and the shadows so in this case you have to make sure i dodge you dodge the highlights and we burn the shadows so just come using a white brush just come and enhance the highlights in the image so i'm just going to come and enhance by painting with a white brush remember in photoshop white is going to reveal and black is going to hide so we're just going to come and enhance and this really works best for me because i don't want first of all do a final steps then i come back to do a dodging and burning so i just come and do a little bit of enhancing the highlights and the shadows just like that then i come and also burn the shadows so using a same brush just come and I burn the shadows just like that. Reduce on the size and come and also burn those shadows. Remember, we're just trying to enhance or bring back shape or dimension that we may have lost out when you're doing uh, skin retouching using whichever method or frequency separation. You can just come and also brighten or dodge those areas. So as you can see, this doesn't look really much of a difference but if at all you come to the group and you turn it on and off you can see the before and after it enhances or doesn't make the image look flat so after doing the dodging and burning i tend to create a stamp visible layer by hitting shift alternate command e on the keyboard or shift alternate control e on the keyboard to create a stamp visible layer and under this this is when i do my second color grading so I just come right here to this layer I come to the camera filter so on this layer I tend to do the second color grading and also the eye whitening so it is on this layer that I do all that so I just come to filter I come to the camera filter and it opens up and I zoom into the eyes and before I do eye whitening first of all before you do any adjustment for example eye whitening make sure that you color grade first because if at all you don't color grade first, you're not going to be able to get the right color out of your eyes. And sometimes after color grading, the image may tend to look a little bit warm. So if at all 
you whiten the eyes it means you have to cool down the overall warmth or temperature of the image and you'll get the eyes looking blue or the teeth looking blue so make sure you do a color grading first then you do the eye whitening later so this is my second step for the color grading so i usually i just come and i play around with the colors within the skin tone so i come to the luminance and simply darken that i darken the oranges so luminosity is the brightness or darkness of a given color so when i'm taking the oranges down i be darkening the oranges just like that and when you take the oranges up you'll be brightening the oranges so i'm just going to take that down to around 34 then i come to my hues and simply add a little bit of reds to the skin tone and that basically is it and if at all the saturation is too much you can just come and reduce on the saturation of the oranges so i feel like this is okay before and after before after it is really subtle not too much so the next thing i tend to do is doing a little bit of eye whitening so after the color grading i do the eye whitening so just come and i zoom into the eyes and get my adjustment brush tool so i come and take the temperature down to around negative 24 and since i have some greens within the eye just come and take the tint up to around 65 and i come to the highlights i just brighten them up to around four and do the same for my whites to around four then I desaturate the other random colors within the white area of the eye by taking the saturation down to around negative 60. So after doing that, I simply paint. So as you're doing this, make sure to only paint in the white area or in the areas that are just meant to be white in your photos. So just come and paint in those areas. And I use the space bar, left click and I move. And I simply paint in the second eye. So basically, this is how I do the eye whitening. And remember, if at all, maybe you are color grading or you do a color grading later on and you felt like the image was a little bit too warm and you come and you try to take down the temperature, you can see, you notice that the eyes tend to look a little bit blue. So always color grade first before you whiten the eye. So after doing this, I just come back and open the image into Photoshop and I do those minor adjustments. For example, having that kind of rich melanin skin tone. So I just come to the black and white adjustment layer and I create it and I come and change the blending mode to multiply and I close this and I just come and take down the opacity just like that to have a richer melanin feel. And when I feel like it is a little bit oversaturated, I come back and I create another black and white layer and I take the opacity all the way down and simply take it up to around three. So this is the other thing I do after whitening the eyes in the camera filter. So the next thing I tend to do is come to selective color and I come to the blacks to enhance the blacks. So I just come and I take the blacks slightly up to around two and I simply take to add blues within the image or to cool down the yellows within the image I just take this towards the opposite of yellow which is the blue side and don't overdo this but if at all you feel like it is okay you can leave it here but I feel like that is too much so I'm just going to leave it at around negative 4 and this looks good so you can see the before and after for just uh, the blacks or the selective color option in Photoshop so I think uh, this looks good and after doing all this the next thing is saving the image so in order to save my image I simply come right here to file export I come to export as and I simply come and save the image so under this panel I tend to leave the format in JPEG the quality at 100% the image size I leave it the way it is and resample I select by cubic sharper and I leave convert srgb and embed color profile if at all i don't want to have any issues with color change of my photos after saving them or when posting them on instagram some of you tend to have those issues of color changes in your images so basically you have to come and check this and that is going to embed every color that you color graded into the image so you convert srgb and also embed the color profile and simply hit export and choose the location and i can rename this whatever i want and come and hit save and that is going to save 
the image in that location so basically this is how i do skin retouching in photoshop for all my images and if at all you have found this helpful don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you haven't subscribed this channel Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching and see you in yet more amazing stories. And don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.